In this short video, I'm introducing the Workspace Manager for i3. The Workspace Manager is a graphical program to manage i3 workspaces, which allows you to reorder and rename workspaces easily. Let's say I want to rename this workspace to WSMGR, because that's where I'm going to be doing all of my configuration and demonstration for this program. Now, because I started this program after starting i3 freshly, you can see only one workspace. So let's add another workspace. You can see that it was added with unnamed as a placeholder. Let's rename it. And let's say I'm going to do some work on Distri here on this workspace. All right, let's say that during my workday, working on Distri, I realized that actually that's much more important for today. So I can easily reorder the workspaces using drag and drop to change the numbering. We can not only manipulate existing workspaces, but we can also configure attributes of the workspaces, which will then be applied when we load the workspace later. So let's create the configuration directory. And in there, we're going to create one directory for each workspace. So here we'll have one for Distri and one for WSMGR. For the WSMGR, let's say that we want to start our terminals in the Git repository containing the source code. That's how we would do it. We just create a symbolic link named CWD, which determines the working directory of the workspace. If we now switch back and at a later point want to recreate the WSMGR workspace, we can just double click it here and we can see that all the new terminal windows will be opened in that working directory. What other attributes can we configure? We've already seen the working directory. So let's take a look at executables, which allows you to run custom programs and scripts whenever a workspace is loaded. In my case, let's say that whenever I'm working on WSMGR, I want a new Emacs client to be started. Let's go back, load the workspace again, and here we can see that Emacs has now started up. We can also see that it is in the correct directory, so that's nice too. All right, so what else do we have? The last built-in behavior currently of the Workspace Manager is a functionality to restore a Chrome window from a bookmark directory. The way this works is we start Chrome. And let's say that we have multiple tabs open, in this case about Go Crazy, that we want to preserve for a later session. We can just say bookmarks, bookmark all tabs, and then say, this is for my Go Crazy workspace. Now I'm going to close this one and I'm going to navigate away in the other window and then close my browser. In order to configure this attribute, I'm just going to say go crazy is the name of the directory and Chrome rewindow is the name of the configuration. Let's switch back to WSMGR, and we can see all of the tabs have been loaded back up, and an Emacs instance has been brought up for us.